Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you have read from the title, today I am going to talk about face shaving and how I like to do it. This is a very controversial and kind of complex topic but here I am clearing all of your doubts. So let's start with which razor I like to use. So here I have two razors with me which look exactly the same but they are not. As you can see this blade has kind of rough edges and the other one I have has smooth edges. So if you are a beginner it is very very essential that you use something like this rather than something like this. This is going to make your shaving experience very very easy and smooth. This takes a little bit of practice. Today I am going to be using this one but if you are a beginner it is very essential that you use something like this. You can find these razors easily on Amazon or any other website or even in your local pharmacy or beauty store. I have a lot of facial hair and I have tried all methods from threading to waxing but all those methods are really painful and they give you small bumps on the face. I know many of you might be having this doubt that my hair is going to grow thicker like a man's mustache or something like that but let me tell you none of it is true. Your hair is going to grow just as it was before you started shaving and there will be no increase in thickness of your hair. That's all for the introduction of this video. Now I'm going to show you how I actually shave my face. If you guys are interested then please continue watching. So first let's begin with a clean and dry face. As you can see I have a lot of hair especially near my side locks. So we'll begin by using a little bit of aloe vera gel on the areas where we need to shave like the side locks, the upper lips and the forehead and let it get absorbed in the skin. Many people have this reservation that hair grows back thicker if you shave your face but that is not true because I have been doing this since more than a year and my hair is just as the same as it was. So I am using this flat one from Tinkle as mentioned before. Just take your hair to one side and now as you can see you have to pull up all your long hair from the side locks and just shave off the smaller ones. If you shave off your entire side lock it is going to look weird. So just shave the extra hair that is bothering you. As you can see all my hair is coming off. If this grosses you out you can please exit the video but this is as real as it gets. So you can clearly see the difference that this shaving has made on my face. So this side is now over and we move on to the next one. I am just repeating the same steps over here. Pulling up my longer hair and just shaving off the excess hair. You can clearly see the hair coming off of my face. Just keep a tissue with you handy so that you can wipe off the razor from time to time. Please be very careful while doing this and use a really light hand on your face. If you are a young girl who is doing this for the first time, please do not do this without some adult supervision. Make sure to clear out all the tiny hair and do this very precisely. As you can see the side locks are clear now let's move on to the forehead this is a very tricky part if you're doing it for the first time so make sure you're very very careful with your eyebrows or else you might just shave them off I am not shaving my brows in this video if you guys want to see a separate video on how I do my brows at home please comment down below use a very very light hand and make sure you pull your skin upwards for better grip and better shaving you have to be careful on how you hold the razor otherwise you might give yourself a cut. So never use it straight. Always hold it at an angle of about 45 degrees and then you can shave. Now I have a lot of peach fuzz all over my face so I am just clearing all that out. I have also tried using a razor on my dry face but that doesn't really work for me. So applying an aloe vera gel or any sort of cream or lotion works well for me. You will have to see for yourself what works best and this will come only with trial and error. 
this area of your forehead is really sensitive and if you're not careful enough you might get a lot of bumps on your face i have done it too so i feel that a lotion or a gel does not give me bumps on my face or my entire forehead i am repeating this again but please be very very careful around your eyebrows if you're doing it for the first time or even for the fifth time now let's move on to the upper lips you can make a weird face like this or you can just make a normal face and pull your skin upwards and start shaving your upper lip i cannot stress enough on the fact that you have to be very very careful while doing this use an extremely light hand on your upper lips there comes the funny face again you don't need to copy this so now as you can see my entire face looks very very clear and the dead skin is also gone because of the shaving that's all for today's video see you next time thanks for watching